Start in Stanton tonight, where one of the parks is now covered in lights. Forty organizations, businesses, and community members decorated individual light displays at the park. Our Sarah Sager attended the opening ceremony and joins us to explain the challenges and the joys that these lights bring to Stanton. Hey, Lee Val, I'm here at Gypsy Hill Park, where organizers tell me between 30 and 40,000 visitors come every year just to see these lights. For the past 10 years, Thelma Newman has had a passion for lights. And with the city council by her side, that passion has bonded Stanton's community during the Christmas season. And I think we're making them very proud of everything that we've come up with. And also it's showcasing the uh, enthusiasm, the creativity, and the uniqueness of the people of the city of Stanton. This year, Mark Miller has the only display that is accompanied by music. But that isn't what Mark is most famous for during the celebration of lights. This is the fifth year, I believe, for the ball game, and uh, it draws big crowds all the time. Mark says that if the economy were better, he would add more plays than just the home run. But no matter how many or few plays, he says it's always a source of compliments. A fellow did tell me that uh, uh, he went down and sat in the bleachers and watched it for 45 minutes. And I thought, it's the same play over and over again uh, every 30 seconds. So uh, I'm glad he enjoys it that much. And while the displays are always a bright sign of the holiday season, Thelma says it doesn't come worry-free. There have unfortunately been some cases of vandalism. And uh, that's not going to deter us, though, because we're determined that this event is going to continue on for years to come. Organizers say that if you do happen to see someone vandalizing the park, please do not take action yourself. They want you to call Crime Stoppers or the Stanton Police. In Stanton, Sarah Sager, WHSV News 3. Thank you, Sarah. The celebration of holiday lights will run until the first week in January.